Hey, welcome back. So we're working on a Mitsubishi key. So we tried using uh, our Smart Pro or our programming tools and it was not working. It was getting low voltage and then also uh, just not connecting. So the simple solution is let's clone it. So the first thing is this is gonna be a MIT key 900. Um, we're gonna notice that we have a slot here. So we can open and I'm going to just be gentle. You don't want to split it and damage it so I can open like so. Stick a fingernail on there, great. Say if there's a seam and there's no slot like that, we can use a blade and we can press along here and split like so, bam. So now we're gonna see that there is a chip there and it is gonna be glued. All these manufacturers, they slather on super glue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a small flathead so I have a small one and a large one. Oh, you're still. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the small one. And I'm gonna press between here. So if you look, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press here in between in like an ice cleaver, or ice pick. And I'm gonna use my motivation and tap, tap, tap. And I basically wiggle and split it and then it comes out like so easy. So there's the bad chip or the chip I can't program, the chip I can't program with the tool. So I'm going to clone it, take an X-Horse chip, and I'm going to pop that in there. And I can use glue or Loctite putty and I can put it back and I'm good to go. So that's how I'm gonna do that really quick. So instead of risking uh, for some of those old Honda keys, like the, the two, uh, 2000s or 20 or 2001 keys like the edge cuts. I just clone it just to avoid any sort of issues. But that's how we do that for that mid key 900. And for that special person out there, I got you.